Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to make a quick little easy project which is a bottle opener. So the socks I'm going to be using is a 3 quarter inch by 3 sixteenths inch bar. I usually use a 3 quarter by 1 quarter but it doesn't really matter. So that's the stock. The tools we're going to need are a slot punch. Looks like that. A drift which is simply a piece of three quarter inch round which I tapered off and then you can see it also has a flat taper on the end so it can go through that hole made by the slot punch a round hole punch and a little bob punch or ball end punch come on now focus see it has a little round end so there are the tools so let's get started Okay, first thing we're going to do is take the punch and go back maybe three-eighths of an inch from the end. Give it and just punch your slot in right there. There, the slug is almost, almost out, just fighting me a little bit. So. There we go. And that did get a little cold at the end, but when you're punching a slug out, it's okay if it's at a black heat or so, because you're just trying to shear the slug out. You're not really moving material too much. So we'll heat that up and uh, put the drift through it. Alrighty, here we go. Just, uh, it does kind of bend a little bit, so. Straighten it out and work from both sides. There it's started. Okay, there's uh, not drifted all the way to this width, but that's okay. Uh, it's big enough now to where we can take it onto the horn of the anvil and just uh, straighten up this end over here. So we're just going to come in and knock these little corners back. Alright, so that's about good. 
not sure exactly how large that is, but it looks about right. So what we're going to do next is just heat it up and hit it like this just to flatten this circle a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go just a wee bit behind this end of this thing here. Give it a whack. And what this will do is just push out a little tab on the bottom. And then we're going to take another hit, just half on, half off the edge of that little tab. Just to sharpen it a little bit, just to get it to stick out a little more. And that that looks about right. Just like so. And now what I'm going to do, because I'm vain, is uh, take this little stamp of mine right here and then we're going to punch a hole just behind this for your key ring or whatever right about here We'll just mark that. And punch that out the next seat. Alright. Now you can take your uh, chisel or hot cut hardy or whatever you prefer and just cut it off here. And just to make it a bit more aesthetic, we're going to just give it a quick little curve to it, just like so, and then the other end in, in this direction. So I've gone ahead and just cleaned up the end here with a grinder uh, just on the back end there and now we're just going to heat it up, give it a good wire brushing and then uh, apply some oil to the, uh, to the surface of it just to finish it off. Right, and this is just vegetable oil on this rag here. And then just to clean up the residue from the oil, Use a lighter oil like WD-40. Just wipe off like that. Whew. And 
try not to inhale the fumes. Nothing like the smell of burning WD-40. Alright, so here's the finished product. A nice little quick project. Took uh, about 20-25 minutes with me filming everything. Probably a little shorter if I wasn't. So there you go. Makes a good, uh, good gift for your alcoholic buddies. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.